You have made us for yourself, and our heart is restless until it finds rest in you. Augustine's prayer, spoken so many years ago, is still poignant for us today. It appeals to our created purpose, bringing glory to God. When we're living outside of that purpose, we try to fill that void through other means. In his first letter, John shows how the love of God and communion with him ultimately brings a sense of peace and confidence. In 1 John chapter 4, verses 16 and 17, he writes, We have come to know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love, and the one who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because just as that one is, so also are we in the world. God himself has addressed the great rift we created between ourselves and him. Through the sacrifice of his son, he has made it possible for us to abide with him and find peace in him. Those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God experience this love that brings peace and confidence. But this love isn't merely an emotion or a feeling of fulfillment, it's a growing desire to be like Christ. Because God dwells in us, we will become more like him in love. We can be confident of his work in us when we display self-sacrificial love for our neighbor. As I end, I want you to ask yourself these questions. How are you resting in God's love? How are you loving others?